Okay, the next cookie that I'm going to make today are pitzels. And you need a pitzel waffle iron to make these types of cookies. Here are my ingredients. I have three eggs, you can see. I have three quarters of a cup of butter that I've melted and I let it cool here. You don't want to add warm butter to this. And I have sugar, flour, baking powder, and vanilla. A lot of people add um, other flavorings to it. I like my pizzelles just vanilla. I'm going to start by creaming together the butter and the sugar. I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients after that. Here's our batter and you can see that it's a nice color, yellow color, and it's sort of a thicker batter. It's like, not sort of, it is a thicker batter. And what Ethan and I are doing is we're sitting here waiting. Uh oh What's wrong? Wait. Oh, you found your arm. Yes. We're sitting here waiting for our waffle iron to heat up. And once it does, I'm gonna put Mommy, about... Mommy. Oh no, it's a crisis. You need help? Yeah. Are you better now, Super Ethan? Yes. Good. Okay, whenever this is all heated up, I'm going to take about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of batter, put it slightly behind the center uh -oh. of the waffle uh -oh. area, the pizzel area. This is hard to see in here. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna put it slightly behind the middle, so right back in there because when I close the waffle iron it's gonna smush things to the front and that'll give me a better design. So the trick to patel making is to know when to open up this patel maker. And you can see I have a super old patel maker. My mom gave it to me. It's from the 70s and I first I used it for the first time maybe about a month and a half ago and um, still really just getting the hang of it. But from what I've learned so far is you have to let all of the steam escape. So you'll see little little bits of steam come out. Once that's done, then you can take a peek. Oh, it looks like they're good. So then I'm going to use a fork and it help ease it off there. And then I'm going to remove it to my rack. Okay, here I just put the dough in, close the lid. You can hear that it's sizzling. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's moisture escaping in the, the form of steam and whenever that stops sizzling like that give it a couple more seconds open up the lid and see if it's a golden color so pizzel making is something where you need to have patience I can you can only do two at a time and you ha can't rush it um, so it's been in here for maybe about a minute let's take a peek a nice golden color. I'm going to use a fork to gently lift it off the press and put it over on a cookie sheet. And then I'm going to do that for the rest of my dough. Okay, here they are. Hope you've liked watching me make them and I've inspired you to do the same. Thanks!